What if the people living near the riverbank areas use this water for daily needs, for bathing, cooking, and cleaning? Sadly, that's the reality for many along the Chilu Riverbank. Also, polluted water can cause serious health risks like skin disease, stomach issues, and even worse, long-term effects. But boiling, well, it does solve some of the problems, which is the bacteria. But have we thought about how dangerous the Chilimong River water pollutants are, especially the metal pollutants? It can cause serious health risks, just like my friend Bella said. So... If you want to know the solution, let's check it out. Hi, a team of two, eight graders from Hansbrook Bayran Junior High School is Garden. I'm Bella and I'm joined with my partner, Vanessa, and we created a solar powered water purifier. We using a pineapple leaf fiber as a natural filtration media. This filter is low cost, effective, and eco friendly at the same time. And we get up the following material. Then we build our pre-wire system with solar panel on top and all the layers stacked in one compact system. Water is pumped up through the filter layers. Each one plays a role. And the whole thing is only runs on the sunlight. It's perfect for the communities with minimum electricity. We didn't start our research by filtering the water and then just testing the filtered water. But we started it by testing the unfiltered water. Now, after we saw the results, we were surprised because the water that the resident has been using all this time was so polluted. We filtered the water using two different heights. The first one is at 10 centimeters and the second one is in 20 centimeters. They both did a very great job on filtering the water. Let's talk about the results. Now, the unfiltered water has a TDS of 265, which is very high and unsafe to use. But after filtering, we found that the 10 centimeters dropped the rate to a 260 microsiemens. Meanwhile, the 20 centimeters dropped it down to 242 microsiemens. But other than that, the manganese levels are now in a lower range, slightly above the safe level. You can also see that the pH levels are now within safe limits of consumption, so the residents can use the water for their daily needs. Before the water was filtered, the water was so brownish, and it had an unpleasant smell to it. So, after we filtered it, it showed many improvements from the odor, or the color. It was clear, not like the before. Brownish. Of course, our filter has limits. The natural fibers can break down over time, and the performance depends on what plant type and how it's extracted. So, to make our research even better in the future, we're gonna make some additional innovations which are adding coating to our cellulose to make it last longer and to make it even cleaner to filter the water. Now secondly, we're also gonna test different heights on different materials. And the last one, we're gonna test out different materials of fibers. For example, lotus and coconut husk to see if they can improve the water quality. This isn't just for a competition project, but it's a real tool for real people. We hope it can inspire more young people to innovate for clean water solutions in Indonesia and beyond. Thank you for watching our STEM project video. I'm Bella and with my partner, Vanessa, Let's go Kebayaran Junior High School, Jakarta, signing out.